Yeast is traditionally known for its use in the production of bread and alcohol. However, this versatile microorganism is capable of so much more. Yeast cells can be thought of as mini factories. When fed with nutrients such as sugar and programmed in a certain way, they produce valuable products in return. Researchers in the EU-funded project Chassis are finding innovative ways of using yeast in new methods of production that are more sustainable and less environmentally damaging than current methods. Chassis researcher Noemi Montini will now demonstrate the transformative power of yeast through a discovery experiment. Before we begin the experiment, we need to make sure that we have all of the chemicals and apparatus required. We need two 100 ml graduated cylinders, four 100 ml speakers, one 500 ml speaker, two separating funnels, two glass rods, three thermometers, two retort stands, an electronic balance, weight boots, a syringe, and a timer. A sachet of yeast without calcium sulfate, sodium alginate, calcium chloride powder, sucrose, glucose test strips, distilled water, and hot water. To begin, add 0.4 grams of sodium alginate to 10 ml of distilled water in a 100 ml beaker and mix thoroughly. Mix two grams of yeast in 10 ml of distilled water in a 100 ml beaker. Prepare 100 ml of a 1.5 calcium chloride solution by dissolving 1.4 grams of calcium chloride in 100 ml of distilled water in the large beaker. Add the yeast suspension to the sodium alginate solution and mix thoroughly with a glass rod. Draw up all of the mixture into a 20 ml syringe. From a height of 10 cm, release the mixture from the syringe, one drop at a time, into the calcium chloride solution. Notice how beads containing yeast cells are forming. Leave the beads to harden for at least 10 minutes. Filter the beads through a sieve and rinse with distilled water. Mix another 2 grams of yeast in 10 ml of distilled water. Pour this yeast suspension into a separating funnel labeled free yeast. Pour the beads into another separating funnel labeled immobilized yeast. Prepare 100 ml of 1% weight per value sucrose solution by dissolving 1 gram of sucrose in 100 ml of distilled water warmed to about 40 degrees. Pour 50 ml of the sucrose solution into the yeast in each of the separating funnels. Using glucose test strips, immediately test samples from each funnel for glucose. Repeat the test at two minute intervals until glucose appears in both and record results. Run off the remaining product from each funnel into the beakers. It takes longer for glucose to be produced by the immobilized cells. Why do you think this is? The sucrose needs to enter the pores in the alginate beads for the enzymatic conversion to take place. The benefits of using the immobilized yeast, however, are that you get a purer product, the enzyme is stabilized, and the enzyme can also be reused. These benefits are important when using yeast in large scale production. This experiment demonstrates the basic principles of the yeast cell factory, which has huge potential as an alternative sustainable production method for a wide range of products.